Hello singers and welcome to day seven of the Singing Straw Challenge. So whether you are just completing our day by day challenge as is, or if you are on our next level, I am so freaking proud of you for showing up for your voice. My name is Whitney Nicole. I am a vocal coach, studio owner, singer, songwriter, and creator of The Singing Straw, which is a rad tool that helps singers and speakers develop healthier, stronger, and more balanced voices. Let's jump into our exercises for day seven. Again, just paying attention, checking in with that body of yours and how it's feeling, how you're doing, bringing more awareness. So as we do, we do, we're gonna start with our slide, going from the bottom to the top and back down. Nice deep inhale and let's go. Don't rush it, all right? Every single pitch you can hit. Let's do it again. Awesome, so are you wondering what today's exercise is? We're gonna be doing the downward pentatonic. So if you've been on this channel for long, you might have heard this in some of our riffing exercise videos. It is one of my favorites. Um, I'm gonna give a shout out to Christina at Songbird Studios. Yeah, Songbird, um, because she is the one who tipped me off to this exercise. I absolutely love it. We're gonna be going through this. It's a downward spin on the pentatonic, but you're kind of moving around through it a little bit. And I'll play it for you once. Here's how it sounds. Take that slow, right? If you need to loop back and listen to that again, you really want to get the hang of that pattern because what we're going to do is we're going to sing that slowly and then we're going to speed it up. All right. So those of you who are in the next level, you can also feel free to throw a vowel instead of the straw on the second half of this. Okay. To see if that kind of like gives you uh, a little bit more of a challenge. So here's how it's going to sound when we put it all together. It is. and then fast. All right, so I've got our track ready. Again, if you guys are interested in um, these tracks, those of you who are in our Love Your Voice course have access to them, all right? So if you're wondering about that, I'll tell you more tomorrow or uh, as the week progresses. Here we go. Higher singers, lower singers, grab your straw. Then speed it up. All right? And then fast. Now this isn't easy, right? So focus on your accuracy. Okay? Yes. I don't want sloppy, okay? I want you to hit every single one of these notes cleanly, okay? I don't want to all woo, no thank you. We are nice and clean. If that means you gotta slow it down, no big deal, slow it down, okay? You can do this. The cleaner the riffs in the straw, the cleaner they will be out of the straw, all right? Yes. clean, all right? Feel free to pause or take a break if you need it. Listen to your voice, listen to your body. You're doing great, guys. Keep it up. bring it back down, okay?
anchor in your voice as you come back down, okay? Reconnect with that lower part of your voice, all right? You're gonna feel these transition points and your voice is gonna change as you move through your range. The sensations will change. Couple more. Again, focusing on clean turns, accuracy as much as you can. Don't be ashamed to slow this down. It's a lot of work. Couple more. You guys are doing great. Last one. All right. I like this is our last one. Yes, you did it. Pat yourself on the back. Okay, that one is hard. It is a challenge. So props to you for wherever you were with that. I'm still so proud of you for just doing it. Beautiful job showing up for your voice today, singers. Let me know that you are following along and that you've checked on day seven down with a comment below and or, and actually tag me on Instagram, put it on a story, let us know, all right? I wanna hear you singing. I wanna know that you're doing this along with me. And then, you know what? We're almost done, you guys. We've got three more days, all right? So I will see you again back here tomorrow for day eight.